Good morning and welcome to Richmond Park. A beautiful sunny Richmond Park I might add. Today I've woken up super early because it is actually a new bike day. Hey, vloggies. Hello. What is this? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what did you do with the second bar? <laughs> <laughs> My thoughts exactly. I was hoping you could tell me. You've already announced it now. Oh yeah, I have, yeah. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you doing? That's a nice road bike. Yeah, do you like it? <laughs> so where are we going today, George? Box Hill. Yeah? Box Hill. How long since you went there last? <laughs> like two years. Mate, like <laughs> six months probably. <laughs> it's been a little quiet. Nice one, should we go? Yeah, yeah, bam, bam. Oh, As with many other mornings actually, I forgot to have breakfast. Well, I woke up too late for breakfast. So my solution has been to bring these, these raw velo bars. Have you had these before? I have not, I heard they're good though. Yeah, they are. So yeah, I've just been bringing these on the rise. They're great because they're basically brownies. So shout out to the guy at raw velo. And try some. Chocolate and walnut. Can I have some? Yeah, you can have a little bit. I should have done that for my good cold now. How is your winter training going, George? Oh, mate, week one. Yeah. Feels good, man. Feels no, good to be back that. into it. It feels good to be back into it, but f <laughs> it's just so hard. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You're a bit out of shape, are you? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, just going to the gym and stuff and starting to do more double sessions, etc. Like. <laughs> Tell me we're not doing an effort at box. <laughs> no way. <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> You look really far over there. You, you can see Brighton. What are you talking about? Well, it sure is bright. <laughs> cool view though, no? Yeah. Yeah, so Kenyon have been kind enough to lend me this bike specifically for, for Vietnam for the next couple of months. It is a Grail CFSL, uh, which is the second one down in their range. But this is still a carbon frame. It's equipped with uh, Force One by uh, the hydraulic version, which is great. Um, disc brakes are a must on a trip like uh, like what we've been doing with the with the panniers and with all that extra weight. So it's equipped with DT Swiss wheels with Swabe G1 tyres, which have the tan sidewalls, which I think you'll agree looks pretty damn smart. The thing that makes this bike different is this double bar setup. Um, it looks pretty crazy. It's quite different from any other bike on the market. It reminds me of that look the road look that they created a few years ago. It's in this beautiful kind of gray, gray and carbon uh, matte effect, which is not too loud. <laughs> Another thing to mention about the seat post is obviously, other than it being carbon, it's got a um, bit of compliance in there. So it just takes that extra few bumps out for you. The other thing to mention is this, uh, obviously it's a one by SRAM force and, and this rear mech actually has the clutch uh, system, which means it removes all of the slack um in the, in the chain so you don't get that rattle uh, and it also has a little unlock button so when you do want to take the wheel off and all that sort of stuff you can you can give it some more um some more space there my only concern before getting on the one by group set was would i really have enough gears especially at the top and at the bottom but so far been really impressed, I haven't had any issues at all. So obviously myself coming from a very road background, road bikes is what I know, that's what I've been riding for the last however many years. I had the experience of riding a cross bike for the last couple of months, but the cross bikes are very specifically designed for one purpose, which is racing. These, are, these gravel bikes hit the balance, they tick all the boxes. It's much more of a um, all-terrain all vehicle and if you were only to buy one, this is the one that I'd buy. Anyway, that's enough bike riding. Back to the studio. <laughs> Check this out. What? <laughs> Look at this. 
Are you, are you pranking Francis up on me? No. <laughs> this goes into a bottle cage. Oh boy. Obviously I'm back in the studio and now I've showed you the bike. I thought I had a few questions from some people asking about the more kind of techie side, actually my setup uh, of the bike itself. So we'll start with my cleat setup. I was foolishly uh, planning to ride Vietnam on a road setup. Uh, I should have learned my lesson with all that cross that I've been doing. Common sense took hold and uh, I invested in some SPD, uh, standard SPD Shimano pedals which mean that I can pair them with some uh, mountain bike or some gravel shoes and actually be able to walk um, rather than prance around in road shoes. So shout out to the guys at City and Saddleback for sending me a pair of these Jaren City uh, mountain bike shoes, which are, I think you'll agree, absolutely stunning. They're in a, a bit of an olive uh, color. Um, so yeah, these, I'm looking forward to using these and getting them fully set up. Um, for when I go to Vietnam. The next part of my setup, which I thought I'd run through, is probably the most important one, and the one that you guys ask after most, and it's obviously our baggage. So my setup this time around is, is a lot different than my setup from previous um, trips, mostly because of this. So Tailfin have sent us these um, aero packs, which are, which are great because um, if you guys remember back to America last year, Francis had a Tailfin, um, but he had side panniers, and those are very unaero. And um, when you're cycling for eight hours or whatever we were per day, it makes a big difference. The main problem with any other solution, which is why we've had to use those, is because we have laptops. Uh, laptops are quite important for us um, as, as, as video makers. Um, and so the, the genius guys at Tailfin have come up with a solution. Basically, in addition to this arch, which allows this aero pack, which looks very small right now, but Trust me, I think it has 22 liters of space or something, so it really does come out. This wing allows uh, basically a laptop um, to be attached. Uh, so it has little mounts here, it just goes on securely, uh, really easily and fastens. That will be my main baggage uh, for this trip. In addition to the tail fin, I have the old trusty Apigura frame bag, which is absolutely great. Other than the fact um, the waterproof see, uh, the ceiling did actually come undone towards the rear so I had to, I don't know if you can see that, I had to glue it back down again. Um, but other than that, this this is absolutely amazing. I put my um, my kind of my drone and my first aid kit and my passport and all those kind of things because it's right underneath where you ride and this is probably the most easily accessible um, pouch. So yeah, using this again com uh, combined with um, the Apigura um, front bar bag. But this year very slightly different because I've invested in the um, accessory pocket, which is an extra, an extra four and a half liters out front, which kind of clips on, onto the bar bag, uh, and in here, obviously fully waterproof uh, tape seams uh, on the zip as well. Um, I will plan to put my camera for when Vietnam weather bites and we get absolutely drenched because it will happen. Other little setup bits include a little slider that I bought for the bottle cage, which basically allows. The, um, the top bottle cage to go down a little bit so that I have more space for that bottle there below the frame bag because I found the bolts were just a little bit too high. So that's that's one little adjustment I've made. When it comes to the tires and the wheel itself, uh, yes, we're going tubeless. Um, we had enough of all of your questions and abuse last year as to whether we were riding tubeless with all the punches that we're having. So yeah, I think uh, I think we're all uh, tubeless ready, uh, tubeless set up. So, that is a key detail for this year. But most importantly, the final detail, yes, I brought a spare Mac hanger. Uh, I contemplated getting two, but I thought, you know, one would probably be enough. Um, I just have to not forget it now. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it with my setup. Uh, but if you do have any questions as to my setup, please uh, shoot them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to, to answer them. But for now, I'm just wait, waiting for Francis. Just brought my... Uh... My gravel bike from Vietnam. <laughs> it's a last minute swap. Yeah? Yeah. Just it's all set up and everything. I've had a bike fit on it. <laughs> it's, it's nice, man. Yeah? Really cool. Right, well, this I like the tyres. So, so um, watch the next episode for more of, more of this guy. Do it. We're doing a panning video. Whoop. And going to Vietnam. Oh, yeah. Leaving. We're like flying and stuff. Oh, shit. So, yeah, see you then. You're ready. No, I'm not. <laughs>